Food and Wine Festival is exciting. I've heard that already a few times, and I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. Uh, I would say that it's not difficult to find a hero when you come into Disney California Adventure Park. You can pretty much look anywhere. Well, I'm not talking about Thor or Spider-Man or Black Panther or Black Widow. I'm talking about these hero ingredients that we celebrate here in California. We have corn, we have artichokes, we have asparagus, avocados, um, Meyer lemons. And these are ingredients that the chefs look forward to and we're excited to share them with all of you. Uh, as Gary had mentioned, that we've stretched out the Food and Wine Festival a few uh, longer days. And of course, I would hope that you're all picking up your passport. This is your guide to success, all right? 14 marketplaces in over a dozen other destinations, 35 savory and sweet items combined, 15 of those are returning favorites, and probably a dozen of those are vegan or vegetarian friendly. And so let's just go ahead and start talking about what's the offer this year, what's new, what's already coming back from previous years, and then we'll highlight what's over at the beer garden. So many offerings, right? Where do you begin? I think one, you just have to plan and plan again, okay? So new this year, we have the artichoke toast with the black, uh, oh, sorry, with the California olive tapenade. This is new with the cream cheese over the, over the top of the toast. Um, and this, this, I try not to use the word favorite because that tends to be where, oh, Chef John only likes this. This is pretty cool. This is the cauliflower ceviche with the crispy corn crumbles over the top and then you can actually eat it with the tortilla chips. It looks and feels and acts like ceviche. There's no flavors missing in this experience too. All right, Gary had mentioned the ghost pepper mac and cheese. Whew, wow, I just, I'm getting a little sweaty thinking about it. It's hot, it'll get your attention. Um, I think we understand that when we put the words peppers caliente together, people expect something hot and memorable. I just lean into it, take a bite, and see how much further you can go into it. Uh, this is a returning favorite. We've just modified it. Uh, this is the I Heart artichokes, the fried artichokes, with the uh, lemon aioli over the top of it. Uh, and then, as Gary had mentioned, this is something that uh, I think is quite interesting. This is the Impossible Burger mashed with the jack cheese and the uh, avocado over the top of it. And uh, it looks and acts like beef. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how great it is. This is sort of the, the mashup corner, if you will. Uh, the culinary team that I get the opportunity to lead, super creative, there are, no, there are no boundaries. We sort of have to reel them in just a tad sometimes, maybe on the heat. But uh, from a storytelling, this is uh, a deconstructed musubi. Musubi, as you know, is the classic uh, ham, right, with some rice and uh, rapid nori. This is the teriyaki chicken, the pineapple relish, and then over the steam rice. This is quite an adventure today. I think you had a chance to try those, right? Uh, and the ghost pepper mac and cheese. This is a fun one right here. This is going to be at LA Styles, which is here at the uh, Hollywood Backlot. LA Style, we have the, the musubi, and then this is the our interpretation of a BLT. The BLT with the bacon, lettuce, tomato, uh, the ranch crema over the top, and then served over this chicharron duro. Yeah, I think some of you are looking at it going, how do I eat that? Well, just, just go for it. Don't, yeah, fork and knife will work, but just pick it up and eat like you would a slice of pizza. Uh, the sweet corn esquites, uh, street style corn, just another reinterpretation with the bacon lardones over the top. All right, Whew, it's a mouthful. All right, let's go over to the beer garden. I don't know if you had a chance to look. This is the first time that we've had a chance to uh, try something different with the iconic Turkey Lake here at the Disneyland Resort. This is the uh, Buffalo style where we actually uh, soak this Turkey Lake for about 24 hours in this chili brine. Uh, and then we dress it with the, this hot sauce, uh, blue cheese crumbles, green onions. Uh, you can either grab it by the handle and go for it, right? Uh, all of our food is usually you know, friendly with your fingers and hands. And then there's this uh, celery slaw underneath it. And that's over at the Paradise Garden Grill in the far end of the, of the park. Uh, we have returning the uh, beer braised pork tacos with the black beans. As you know, this was on the menu last year. This is the no meatball submarine sandwich. Last year it was actually vegetarian friendly. This year it's going to be completely vegan. And again, you had a chance to try it today. I saw a lot of nods. Yes, I liked it. It was good. It eats very well. And then, of course, uh, what beer garden would be successful without the warm pretzel with the mustard dipping sauce or the classic fish and chips with the 
the uh, remoulade dipping sauce. Okay. Dessert. I don't want to leave out my executive pastry chef. Uh, this team does an amazing job with creativity. And of course, we have the fan favorite. We are bringing it back from previous years. Um, I feel like the macarons are our thing. This is the Meyer lemon macaron with the blue diamond almond. And then inside of it, you have the black, uh, sorry, blueberry jam. And uh, let's see, one other dessert. This is a, a new this year. This is your Greek yogurt uh, cheesecake with dehydrated basil over the top and the raspberry jam to go with it. And, um, okay, so this was fun when we did the tasting for this. I don't know if you know, we do a few tastings to figure out how to make this food excite everybody. Uh, that's the pleasure of what I get to do, and we probably had uh, three or four of these tastings, but I love the expression that when everybody was tasting this, the look on their face, I, I couldn't tell if they just uh, lost their breath, couldn't get their brain to think, um, shaking their head. Um, I know I'm building up this incredible story, but I, I can tell you right now, um, at these tastings, there's, as you can see, there's 35 offerings. Imagine the, the constraint you have to have, the restraint to say, just one bite. Just This one, I could tell people were like, no, I'm not giving, I'm, I'm still gonna eat this. So this uh, parfait with uh, chocolate and peanut butter and some crunch in there, um, quite delicious, quite delicious. So not just one of my favorites, but something very memorable. All right, so hopefully I've had a chance to cover all the food offerings that are in front of you here today. And again, we brought back so many other favorites that I'm not able to show you today, but you'll get a chance to get out to the marketplaces today and uh, see what you, what you think then. Okay, so if we want, we can probably catch up maybe a few questions. Yeah. Sure. Yeah.